Uh, students, teachers, and staff in several upstate districts are now midway through their first week of school. And we have live team coverage. 7 News' as Christine Scarpelli is in Inman. We'll check in with her in a moment, but we begin with Jennifer Martin. She's live at Cal Penn's Elementary School. Good morning, Jennifer. Hey, good morning, guys. So the students will start getting here at 7.30. That's the earliest that they're allowed inside. So we started to see people show up, mainly teachers. And I have one here with me. This is Sean Price, who teaches fifth grade here at Cal yes. Elementary. You said that you've been having to be very creative this year. Yes. Uh, what kind of challenges have you faced as a teacher, and how have you overcome those? Well, when you're used to having all of your kids come in the first day of school and really build that community with them and get to know them, um, that's been hard because you're trying to prepare them to be at home the next day. Mm -hmm. And so not only are you preparing them to teach themselves or to help learn new content, you also try to build that community and that's hard. Um, so you're trying to teach them the new platform to work on at home and so the challenge has been been that. For the Is there time. anything that parents keep asking you that you'd like for them to know? Uh, just to not give up. It's all it's new for us. It's new for the children. It's new for the parents. Just don't give up. You know, ask us questions. Let us help you. Don't be frustrated. We're all learning, and we'll all get through it together. It may take a week. It may take two weeks. It may take three weeks, but, you know, we'll do it. We'll get there. And how has your role as a teacher kind of changed, uh, making sure that kids are safe and that they're washing their hands frequently or that if they're using paper uh, to complete their assignments, that that's been set aside for a certain amount of time. Are, are you having to adjust in any well, major ways? one of the things that we made sure we did was to go ahead and schedule that hand washing time in our schedules so that we see it, we think about it, you know, come in, wash your hands, you know, after a little bit of time, let's go wash our hands. Um, right now, I'm really trying to do as much as I can on the computer so that there is less paperwork, but um, just setting it aside, leave it on your desk a minute, let me collect it, then I'll set it to the side before I handle it. So that's Great. kind of been the big part. Well, I leave it to teachers to find creative solutions <laughs> to things. You guys are always so impressive with thank how you, you adjust to things. So thank you so much for yes, joining us this morning, Thank Sean. you. I appreciate it. We'll send it back to you, Fred and Sabila. Educators and innovators. Thank you, Jennifer, Sabila. So